Hello guys welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation 16 Pro. In this tutorial, you are assumed to have downloaded the Windows 11 ISO and have downloaded and installed VMware Workstation 16 Pro. All download links are listed in the description. Let's start this tutorial. Now run VMware Workstation 16 Pro. In the license key window click I want to try VMware Workstation 16 for 30 days. Then click the continue button. Then click the finish button. Now, in the home window click create a new virtual machine. Then click the next button. In the install from window, click I will install the operating system later. Then click the next button. Under the guest operating system menu select Microsoft Windows. And under the version menu select Windows 10 and later x64. Then click the next button. In the virtual machine name box, enter Windows 11. Then click the next button. In the maximum disk size box, I select 120 GB or at least 60 GB according to Windows 11 specifications. And also select store virtual disk as a single file. Then click the next button. Then click the finish button. Now click edit virtual machine settings. In memory, set according to hardware specs. And also on the processor, set according to hardware specs. Move to CD DVD, SATA. Then select use ISO image file. Then click browse. Browse the previously downloaded Windows 11 ISO. Click on the Windows 11 ISO and then click on the open button. Now move to the Options tab. Then click on Access Control. In the right window click the Encrypt button. Type in the new password to be used. Then click the Encrypt button. Now click on Advanced. In the right pane under UEFI, click the checkbox on Enable Secure Boot. Now go back to the Hardware tab. Click on the Add button. Then click on Trusted Platform Module. Click the Finish button. Then click the OK button. Now run the virtual machine by clicking on power on the virtual machine.
press any key when press any key to boot from CD or DVD appears. Now in the window setup window. Then click the next button. Click on the install now button. In the activate windows window click I don't have a product key. Now select the version of Windows 11 to be installed. Then click the next button. In the license terms window, click the checkbox for I accept the Microsoft software license terms. Then click the next button. Now click on custom install windows only advanced. Now click new. Then click apply. Then click the OK button. Then click the next button. Wait for the Windows 11 installation process to complete. Windows 11 installation process is complete. Now select the country location. Then click the yes button. Then select keyboard layout. Then click the yes button. In the second keyboard layout window click the skip button. In the let's name your device window click skip for now. In the next window click on set up for personal use. Then click the next button. In the let's add your Microsoft account window scroll down and click on sign in options. Then click on offline account. In the what is a Microsoft account window click skip for now. Now enter your name. Then click the next button. In the create password window click the next button. Now select the option from privacy settings. Then click the next button. Windows 11 configuration is complete, and is already on the Windows 11 desktop. Now click on the VM menu and click on Install VMware Tools. Then open File Explorer. Then open the VMware Tools DVD drive. 
Then run Setup64 to start the VMware Tools installation. In the Welcome VMware Tools window click the Next button. Then click the Next button again, now click on Install button. The VMware tool installation process is complete, then click the finish button. In the next window click the yes button to restart the system. Then wait for the restart process to finish. The restart process is complete and now it's on the desktop again. Now test if full screen is working properly. Click view and click full screen mode. Ok, full screen mode is running normally. So that's it, if this video is useful don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead. See you in the next video.